like I said, it's one big happy family. That's the way the neighborhood is anyway. It's one mm -hmm. big community. What do you think Jay Sean would be doing if there was no slick? Well, me, myself, I'd be worried where, it, where he would be at. The street is so ratchet nowadays. You know, you can be walking down the street and something can happen or so... He don't understand that, and my grandchildren don't understand that, but I'd be worried where they at. But if they was around the church at Slick, i know where they was at, and, you know, knowing that they're in good hands. I have two sons, Noah and Nolan, and I worry about them, too, when they're not with me. I mean, America's always been a very unsafe place for Black men. And, you know, I want my boys to feel just as safe as my white girlfriend's sons do, but the reality is that my girlfriend's sons and my sons live in a different America. And it's my responsibility to let them know that and to and to keep them as safe as as I can, right? To arm them <laughs> so that when they go outside, I know they're coming back home to me. So when Phyllis talked about, you know, and she kind of scolded Jay Sean a little bit, you know, because he's feeling like the tough guy. That's what he be telling me now. He said, Ma, I'm taller than you now. Yeah. I used to be real small. Ma, you done gained some weight now. You got some meat on your bones. He's almost six feet, you know. It's like, well, yeah, but those guns, they strike down little black boys and, and, and big ones, too. Big ones, too. And so I really, really, really related to Phyllis Fear and to her um, hopes and dreams for her son. <laughs>